How long was Snow White in production, Walt? I actually started to uh, plan the picture about 1935, and I fool around with it, uh, trying to get a hold of a story and things for a couple of years, and finally it began to gel. Then I uh, went to work on it, and I finished it the fall of 1938. And I didn't know what I had or what would happen or anything. We had the, the family fortune. We had everything wrapped up in Snow White. In fact, the, the banker, I think, was losing more sleep than I was. And fortunately, they though, we, we put it in, premiered it, and everything else. Why, everything was was fine. The banker was happy. And the following spring, along came that Academy Award. And oh, yeah. But, uh, it wasn't but <laughs> about two years later that I was almost broke. Well, <laughs> two years later was following Pinocchio and coming into the Fantasia period. Yeah, that about did it, you know. <laughs> that, but that was a Artistic new Artistic success, <laughs> financial failure, you know. Certainly an artistic success. It was a magnificent Well, it, uh, there's some people would, uh, would question that, too. Mickey was certainly a mouse of all trades, and particularly impressive as a conductor. Well, that's what started. I was uh, doing this uh, uh, Sources Apprentice with Mickey Mouse, and I happened to have dinner one night with Stokowski. And Stokowski said, oh, I would love to conduct that for you, you know? Well, that led to not only doing this one little short subject, but it got us involved where I did all of Fantasia, and before I knew it, I ended up spending 400 and some odd thousand dollars getting music with Spakovsky. <laughs> well, perfectionism always costs money, I guess. That's something you've always been after. Well, I was always known as a perfectionist until I met Spakovsky. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a new member of the club, yeah. indeed. Tell us, Walt, what are the principal technical advances in the animated cartoon since the time of Fantasia? Better drawing. Uh, the first thing I did when I got a little money to experiment, I uh, put all my artists back in school. We, uh, uh, the art schools that existed then didn't quite have enough uh, for what we needed, so we set up our own art school. Well, you were inventing a new art anyway. Well, yes, but we were just going a little bit beyond what they were getting in the art school, where they work with the static figure. Now, we were dealing in, in motion, movement, and the flow of movement, the flow of things, you know. Action, reaction, all of that. So we had to set up our own school. And out of that school had come the, the artists that uh, now make up my staff here, and more than that, the artists that make up all of the, most all of the cartoon outfits in Hollywood. Uh -huh. Where, directly or indirectly out of my school. 